So basically, if I want to compare two things in their enthalpy changes, I want to make sure that I want to make sure that they're at, they're at the same. They're at, under the same conditions, right? And that gives us the idea of standard enthalpies. Okay. So if we were to talk about the standard enthalpy change of a reaction, okay, the standard enthalpy change of a reaction. Okay, the symbol that we use is this, delta H theta. Okay, this whenever you see this theta over here, it means that the reaction was carried out under standard conditions. Okay. Now this is the enthalpy change, the enthalpy change when molar amounts of reactants, molar amounts of reactants, okay, as shown, as shown in the stoichiometric equation. Stoichiometric equation. Not this. Stoichiometric. React to form products. React to form products under standard conditions. under standard conditions. And standard by standard conditions we mean 298 Kelvin okay and one atmospheric pressure. If for example let's take an example here okay let's say that I have the equation nitrogen and hydrogen react to form ammonia, right? You guys are familiar with this, the Haber process, right? So delta H for this reaction is minus 92, okay? Now, what if I was forming, what if I wrote one mole of ammonia here? Then it would be negative 46, okay? Now, the idea, guys, here is this. Kilojoules per mole. Kilojoules per mole. The idea here is this: that obviously both the equations are balanced. Upper wala bhi equation balanced and niche wala bhi equation balanced. So if you were writing just the chemical equation for the reaction, they would both be ex acceptable. But when you're when you're when you're writing an equation representing an enthalpy change, okay, the enthalpy change represents or the enthalpy change is specific to the amounts shown in the equation itself. So here minus 92 means for 2 moles of ammonia, I have an enthalpy change of minus 92 kilojoules. If I was forming just 1 mole of ammonia, then my enthalpy change would be minus 46. So generally speaking, when you write chemical equations, when you write chemical equations, it's okay to balance them either way. But when you're writing a chemical equation for a specific enthalpy change, the equation should represent the molar quantity being used. Over here the theta represents standard conditions. Okay, 298 Kelvin and 1 atmospheric pressure. 298 Kelvin bhi 25 degrees Celsius bhi sakte. One atmosphere is not the same as 100 kilopascals. One atmosphere is around 1.01325 kilopascals. Oh, 101.325. I'll write this down. One atmosphere is about 101.325 pascals. Obviously. All right. So now we have the standard enthalpy change of formation. Okay. The symbol that we use for this is delta H theta. Because the standard conditions and formation gale is the symbol F. <clears throat> now, what is the standard enthalpy change of formation? It is the enthalpy change 
the enthalpy change when one mole one mole of a substance okay is formed in its standard state in its standard state from its constituent elements in their standard states in their standard states under standard conditions So an example of a standard enthalpy of formation is this, right? So let's see. For example, let's say I wanted to write, let's say I wanted to write the standard enthalpy of formation of something like calcium carbonate, right? Calcium carbonate is standard enthalpy of formation. Well, so my product is calcium carbonate, and by definition, I have to show the formation of one mole of one mole of calcium carbonate, one mole of a substance is being formed, right? So, its constituent elements can calcium, right? Plus carbon, plus oxygen, right? And we have three oxygens here, so three over two, O two, right? And this this equation represents the formation of calcium carbonate. And since it's the standard enthalpy change, calcium would be solid, okay? Carbon is in the solid form. The standard, the standard form of carbon is taken to be graphite. The standard form of carbon is taken to be graphite and then oxygen is in the gaseous form and calcium carbonate is in the solid form. So here this equation represents the standard enthalpy of formation of calcium carbonate. One mole of a substance or one mole of calcium carbonate is being formed in its standard state which is solid from its constituent elements calcium carbon and oxygen in their standard states under standard condition so whenever you are writing the equation representing formation then it would be this agar aapne for example two calcium carbonate likha hota that would be two times the enthalpy of formation of calcium carbonate because enthalpy of formation is specifically for formation of one mole of a compound okay let's say i wanted the formation of let's say formation of ethanol chahiye thi mujhe ethanol kya hota hai CH3, CH2OH, right? C2H5OH. Now, ethanol standard state mein kya uska form hota hai? Uska standard state kya hota hai? Liquid. Ethanol is liquid under room conditions, right? And iski standard enthalpy of formation would be, iski standard enthalpy of formation would be, well, carbon, right? How many moles of carbon do we have here? Two moles of carbon. So, we have two moles of carbon which are solid again, right? You can write solid or you can write graphite in parentheses, they accept both, okay. But you should know that carbon in its standard state is graphite, okay. Then we have how many moles of oxygen? Half a mole of oxygen gas, right? One mole of oxygen atom. So in the standard state, right? And we have six hydrogen atoms, so that's 3H2. So this equation represents the enthalpy of formation of ethanol. Okay. Again, gas, carbon is solid, oxygen is gas, hydrogen is gas. Just a few notes here. The delta H of formation is usually exothermic. Usually exothermic. Okay. Sometimes it can be endothermic as well. And most reactions are exothermic in nature, so most prod most compounds that form form exothermically. It's a it is generally used as a measure of the stability of a compound. It is generally used as a measure of a stability of a compound, right? The more exothermic, the more exothermic the enthalpy of formation, right? The more exothermic the enthalpy of formation, the more the more stable the product can it can be said to be right 
کہ بھائی فار ایگزامپل لائک لیٹ سے کہ ایک کی ایک کی زیادہ ایکزوتھرمک ہے دوسری کی کم ایکزوتھرمک ہے وی نو فار اے فیکٹ کہ جس کی زیادہ ایکزوتھرمک ہے اٹ پریفرز بینگ ان دا کمپاؤنڈ فارم مور دین دا کانسٹیٹیوئنٹ ایلیمنٹس جتنا زیادہ فارمیشن ایکزوتھرمک ہوگی اتنا کمپاؤنڈ فارمیشن پریفر ہوتی ہے اور ایلیمنٹ فارمیشن کم پریفر ہوتی ہے تو اتنا کمپاؤنڈ سٹیبل ہے میجر اف سٹیبلٹی اف اے کمپاؤنڈ سو دا مور ایکزوتھرمک مور ایکزو مینز مور سٹیبل And the last thing that we have is that the delta H formation, the delta H formation of elements is set to be zero, is equal to zero. So the formation, formation specifically applies to the formation of a compound from elements. Elements ki khud ki formation kya hoti? Zero hoti. Right? Yeah, so over here what we had was, over here we had the enthalpy of formation of calcium carbonate. Right, this equation represented the enthalpy change of formation of calcium carbonate. And this equation here represents the enthalpy change of formation of ethanol. Okay. Again, make sure for enthalpy change of formation, you always show one mole of product being formed. Or one mole of a compound being formed. If there are two moles, there will be two times the enthalpy change of formation. This is per mole of compound formed. All right. The next standard enthalpy that we have, the next standard enthalpy that we have is the standard enthalpy change of combustion. Right. Now, similar to formation, or oh, we've already seen combustion before, right? The only difference in this definition is that you have to specify the conditions. So standard enthalpy change of combustion is the enthalpy change, is the enthalpy change, and I'll write down the symbol as well, okay? The symbol here is delta H combustion, but now we use a theta to show standard condition, right? This is the enthalpy change. when one mole of a substance okay in its standard state in its standard state okay is combusted in or not combusted see this is a mistake is completely combusted completely combusted in excess oxygen in excess oxygen okay to form the combustion products right will be formed but the, we have to make sure that the products are also written in their standard state to form products in their standard state And this is under standard conditions again. Under standard conditions. Right? The standard enthalpy of combustion is always, always exothermic, right? Always releases heat. So, for example, let's say we had this exa example here, right? Let's say that I took. Propane, right? Propane is P3H8, combusting an oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water, right? Now here, what we have is in this equation, propane. Because you know, what state of propane? Ka? Propane is a gas. Okay. Oxygen is a gas. Carbon dioxide is a gas. And then water is a liquid, right? So you would write uh, again standard states at 25 degrees Celsius at room temperature. Basically, in kya? In kya wo hota hai states, right? Now, by definition, you you are definitely combusting how many moles? One mole. So the equation that represents the combustion of propane, you have to have one mole of propane being combusted, okay? And then now you're forming three moles of carbon dioxide because you have three carbons here. 
four moles of water and then you have you have what three and a half yeah? four plus six three times two right so here three times two is six plus four so we have five whole thing okay so again you have to for combustion you have to show one mole of a substance being combusted okay okay yaar this is app so basically what we have here is this so for example let's say that i start at point a okay let's say i start at point a and i'm like okay if i want to go to point b if i want if i want to go to point b i have an enthalpy change of let's say plus 30 kilojoules per mole right then let's say from point b to point c from point b to point c okay i have an enthalpy change of i have an enthalpy change of let's say another plus or plus 25 kilojoules per mole right and then let's say that i go from point c to point d okay i go from point c to point d and i have an enthalpy change of let's say minus 15 kilojoules per mole right now what if instead of going about this entire process i went directly from a to d i went directly from a to d what would the enthalpy change be i can go Plus thirty plus twenty five minus fifteen, or I can go directly from A to D, which would simply be forty, right? Thirty plus twenty five is fifty five minus fifteen is forty, right? Plus forty kilojoules per mole. So this is the idea. The idea is that I can go from A to B to C to D, or I can go directly from A to D. The enthalpy change for either of these processes. wouldn't matter because why wouldn't it matter because we have the same starting point and the same end point that's essentially what hess's law is saying okay so what hess's law says is what hess's law says is okay hess's law says so this is hess's law okay it says that the enthalpy change the enthalpy change of a reaction is independent is independent of the reaction pathway okay as long as as long as the initial and final conditions are the same as long as the initial and final conditions are the same okay so reaction pathway ke liye you can say route taken also but the point is as long as the initial and final conditions are the same why is this important well if you're going from a directly to d let's say or you're going let's say a to b to d or you can go a to c and then d whatever as long as your initial and final states are the same the enthalpy change for the overall processes are the same now the initial and final conditions also have to be the same right because agar conditions same nahi hongi starting or ending mein to fir obviously a or d ki energies affect hongi so in order to be able to compare the two different cycles we want to make sure that in the, in both cycles in both cycles a was at the same energy and d was also at the same energy so we have to ensure that the initial and final conditions are the same 